Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we will be discussing another problem from our DP section of SD sheet which is box stacking. So I'll just show you the problem statement. It's a very good problem. Let me just check if we are live. I think bandwidth always drops. I don't know why. Okay, so let's start with our class. So what are you given in this question is that you are given three arrays which represent height, width and length of rectangular or cuboid kind of structure boxes, right? Just imagine a box and we want to stack those boxes, right? Whenever you stack something, you know that imagine anything, be it glasses or whatever you stack. If you have something which is whose length and width is less than the one which is present at the bottom you can stack over it right so the question asks you that what would be would be the maximum height of the stack and you can stack them in such a way let me just show the take this example and explain to you using this So for example, this is a length, width and height. Now see, you'll say that we have only three boxes. So what is the, why is this even a question? The thing is, if you read the question, your question says that the box whose, let's say your, there's a box, okay, whatever is the length, it can be rotated in such a way that right now, what is length, the length which we see here can become its height also in the other rotation suppose if i rotate it in this way right i might get this length as its height right it can be its height and so on and so forth for the other dimension so basically you have you can rotate your box in any order in such a way not like you are going to make it something diagonal in such a way that any dimension which is length right now can become its height if we have a height right now it can become its width right this can be counted as its width so i hope you understood this point so we the rotations are allowed now if the rotations are allowed you yourself see that how many possibilities we can have for any particular box for example there is a box this is the length this is width and uh, this is height width and length so, so for example if this is the length 3 and for the same box the width will be represented here which is 2 let's say this is 2 and the height for the same box is 1 and this is 1 if I rotate it and make it this way right if I rotate it then what is going to be its length C right now if I consider this as my length this length will be of 2 units okay this which was height previously now it is going to be my width which is one and previously what is what was my length has become my height now right okay so this is first thing that you need to understand one thing is that you can rotate your boxes and the way we rotate it we also change we get a different dimension set of dimensions and this impacts the way in which we are going to stack up and this will determine the maximum height that we can get of any stack okay first thing is rotate second thing is that in this question you want to get the maximum height you stack your boxes in such a way that you get the max height right now the thing is for any box if you see if i rotate it there are three dimensions each dimension has two more options if one is the height so this height can become length in one rotation and it can become width in other rotation same for example if two right now for example is your width it can become length in one rotation can become height in one rotation so basically there are overall overall for one particular value in your array we have it has got three roles to play it can become length width and height in three different configurations right so based on this how many configurations are possible for any particular box total three and if you see how many boxes are we do we have here 
if i take any one box i can have three different configurations for any one box right and i have total three boxes which you can see from the length of your height width and uh, length arrays so each represent one box and total there are three boxes so three into three total nine configurations are possible right now the point is if you have total nine configurations you have to figure out that in what manner are you going to stack them or what boxes you will need to remove such that you get the maximum height so basically configurations you got configurations you have to find the maximum height now you'll ask what is the issue what is the issue see one each box has got three roles to pay uh, play in terms of configurations we are going to get different dimensions if i want to stack one box over the other forget about the height i first thing is that i need to have its area which should be strictly less than the area of the box which is just below it now if i want to stack another box i have to make sure that the area of that upcoming box should be less strictly less than it cannot be equal also because equals cannot be stacked right i want to stack in so now the thing is for example if this was a my box whose height was somewhere let's say one okay height was one now you stacked in another box whose height let's say was three not i'm not drawing it too good although my drawing So first thing that you have to take care of that your area of B1, right? The bo first box, for example, or the initial the box that is already present, area of B1 should be strictly greater than the upcoming box area of B2. And in order for your areas to be greater, you have to make sure that the length one, if length one of the box which is already present, if this length one is less than right okay first thing is area involves both length and breadth even though your area is less than the area of the box which is already present it still does not ensure that you will be able to stack why see you have to think of each and every this question is all about thinking about every step obviously i'm not saying it is intuitive we will come at the come up at the solution but first think of everything that i'm speaking right now when i'm saying that you have to make sure that the area of the incoming box should be less than the area of the box already existing but still it doesn't ensure it doesn't ensure stacking why even if my area is less it will not make sure that suppose the length of this box this was my box right i don't know what is height what is its height it has got some width fine like this for example now i am placing a new box okay whose area is definitely i am saying less than the box that is already present but but for example length is also less than that this is my new box whose length is but my width is greater than the box that is already present this is the problem now would you be able to stack it this is my new box you see that area for example if this was three units for example right now it is going to be two units two units and let's say my width was uh, one unit this was my width of the previous box so although sorry i think i'm let's say this is three let me make it let me make good example for example this is two and this is two let's make it four and one five and one and one for example the width of the previous box is just one unit okay and length is five so area is total five now the box that you are adding up it has got length two that, that is fine but and width two so the total area is four definitely four is less than five but i will still not be able to stack it reason being this width is greater than the box already present so it cannot be stacked right so once first of all you have to write the configurations or you have to settle up the configurations in such a way that you get a list of boxes in the maybe decreasing or increasing but in the sorted order of the areas right 
now the problem will be now let, let me let me now start writing it because this question is will not be so clear unless we over over the examples so i got 1 4 3 let me write the ex 1 4 3 so 1 for 1 4 3 we'll write all the configurations 1 3 4 and another one we will be 4 1 3 for example any other left For example, right? This is I'm just writing in different configurations, and I have two five four similarly two five four, and in one I can make it two five I'm not sure if I'm writing the right configurations because there might be some configurations in which you are actually rotating it whole 180 degree, so that will not make sense. You're getting my point. I'll just check. I don't want it in that way. Length, width, height. Okay, I think it's fine. And then we have 361. 361. 1, 3, 6. And 1, 3, 6. For example, just taking a random example, just forget. And I have written some configurations here. Now the point is, first thing that I'm asking you is that this is your length, this is your width, and this is your height. What I want you to ensure is that you sort them in the decreasing or increasing up to you, let's say decreasing order of your area. So whatever you see the area here is 4, here area here is 12, let me write it 3, 10, 20, 10, 18, 3 and 3 right so if i write in the uh, decreasing order of area you will see that this configuration will come here 3 6 1 then next up oh, sorry 5 4 2 will be above it 5 4 2 1 having area of 12 then 18 then what we have this one 4 3 1 okay okay then after 12 we can have 10 254 254 right this is done 20 is done 12 is done 18 is done right one more 10 is there so i have gotten 5 to 4 okay this is also done what is 4 1 4 3 1 4 3 i think i have not written the right configurations here probably and then i have 3 1 4 one three six and three one six let's check how many are these one two three four five six seven eight, nine okay so now one thing is one thing i know is that the areas are in the decreasing order right so there are high chances that as i go down towards this list right i can possibly stack my uh, my boxes but the problem will be that wherever the area areas being less is not the sufficient condition to stack up i'll have to make sure that there will be some boxes that i might need to omit so that thing i'll ensure that whichever as i go down towards this list length of let's say this is your ith character and this is your jth index right so length of j right or length of j should be greater because i am assuming that this has gotten bigger area not assuming this is fact if i am stacking this box in the beginning then the next box that i am stacking up right it should have length and width less than my jth index array box right so i have to make sure that lj length of j is greater than length of i similarly i have to make sure that width of j is greater than width of i so this thing I will keep, I will make sure that this thing takes place. And if this condition holds true, right, if this condition holds true, then second thing that I will check in order to ensure that if I am stacking these boxes, I am also making sure that I am getting the maximum height of the uh, stack that I am creating. So how will I ensure that? That is where the concept of longest increasing subsequence comes into play. Let me just check if I am... 
bandwidth is very bad again can't help it i have to figure out something i don't know no matter whichever wifi i connect to the bandwidth is not good okay so how longest increasing sequence sub sequence comes into play here is that see guys for example if this was my box right 5 4 3 and 6 first of all 6 is not less than 4 so i this condition doesn't hold true move your i to the next index let's start our iterations then you will understand now i'll go with this now my i is at this index j is at this index so far i will i have not been able to stack up right because i wanted it less and it is not now my i is here for example okay for example right now only stack that you have is of one box that is 5 4 and 2 now next up i have i at here and j again starts from zeroth index of your box and goes until i find the i go to i minus 1 index okay so now i am here i compare i compare 4 and 5 3 and 4 since this box has got less dimensions this fact holds true so i can stack it now if i stack it tell me what is going to the maximum height so height so far for this box is 2 this is making up a height of 2 now if i stack one more box over it its height is 1 so first of all you see that the box that i have already added already has a height of 2 and box that i am trying to place over it has a height which is less than the current height so it will not add up to the height right so maximum height so far will be 2 only right so that that is where this concept of longest increasing subsequence will come into play okay okay so so far now move your j to the next index c now you can relate it with the code also let me take this formula this is entire this is the only thing about this question to be honest but yeah you have to set up entire base from where we are coming if you, i would have shown you that we are going to do this thing you wouldn't have understood but now this will make sense to you see what it is taking so this is your inner loop right and i think we must have an outer loop let me take this entirely so as you can see from here we started from like box 1 okay because i want to stack them so LIS will make sure that I am getting the longest increasing subsequence of the height. That is the longest height so far, right? As I am stacking, and when uh, now let's say here when I am here, this is the this step in which I am checking that length of this jth index is greater than the length of ith index, right? J here they have taken i as your inner loop, so this is just reversed. But I will let me take it accordingly. forget it and since their outer loop is running with i and inner loop is running with j i'll take it accordingly this is your j and this is your i right okay now when i am here already see i will check is my length of j less than the length of i and width of j less than the width of i if that is the case so at least i can stack now when i am stacking i this line is calculating what is going to be my height so far that i am getting of that stack so what it is checking that whatever will be the maximum value of lis i that means height i have found so far till ith index is compare it with the height that i will get if i stack this box over it right so if i stack this box right over lis of j what is lis of j right now see lis of j is 1 plus box height i think one second i was correct previously indexing is causing some issue actually forget in that way and if your box of j so the thing is here you will see that it is a little bit reversed not little bit it's reversed because i am comparing it from the decreasing order of 
point of view anyway the logic remains same you can when you do you will understand that okay now calculating for lis of i am i doing that right hmm so lis of i will be the max value of lis of j which is 2 right now for example right plus whatever height i have so far i will add the height that i am currently present at right so when they will add it will become 3 so this will be now 3 this is what lis of this i will give me now move your j to the next pointer i'll check i'll compare i want to stack up okay so if i want to stack up i will check if my boxes of this uh, what is the issue give me a second I is going there. J is internal. Now I want to stack I. I should be smaller. Somewhere it is not in sync. Either we can start it from here. If I take I here, I here, and J here. okay so let's have a look from it from this point of view then you will be able to understand what we have done here okay so i am at i i am at j now i check i want to stack my boxes you see that this is the minimum area these are the minimum areas first of all it has to be strictly increasing areas but right now it is not let's have a look okay uh, so boxes of i dot length it should be greater than this if i want to stack up i am increase i am moving towards above in the increasing order of area right so this is they are stacking it in this way whatever you stack you are anyway going to have an increasing height so we'll calculate that no don't worry so if i want to stack its length should be greater than this that's the logic that we have used here because we are kind of moving it from the lowest area box okay fine so this is your i this is not true so first of all this condition doesn't hold true move to the next index i is here j starts from 0 again now you see it's it has to be strictly increasing i cannot include this box also so into my stack because length and length not right don't expect the right see the configuration that i have written here it might not be correct that is why i'm not expecting to get 15 which is the answer here it's just for you to understand what we are doing in this case because when once you go through it you can write the correct configurations and understand it okay by correct configuration i mean i might have rotated it, it in this such a way that it is back to 180 degree probably so let's have a look okay now my i is here j is here you see that can i stack it the condition is that box of i should be greater than box of j length same goes for width not true can't stack it move here 5 is greater than 3 2 is greater than 1 i can definitely stack over it so if i stack over it what is going to be my height the one the box that i already have for example its height is 6 now if i stack one more box it has a height of how much 4 right so although i stack it and it has got an height of 4 only let's see so lis of i lis of i will be max of what is lis of i already right and lis of j plus boxes height whatever is the height you add it to so it is going to be 10 you replace it with 10 okay move your uh, i stays here move your j to the next index can i stack it yes i can stack it but 2 is less than 3 i cannot stack it move your j to the next index i can stack it definitely what will be the longest increasing height if i stack it in this manner so if i stack it over this box this box is an lis of 4 okay and already that it has is 10 so let's compare 4 plus 10 will be 14 it will be greater so i am going to get a bigger height now my j moves to this index but if i move to this index i'll see the width is less so i cannot stack it now make your i point to the next index and start your j from 0 back again that's how you are going to do it you make your j here again you check is this length less than this no can't do anything move your j here can i stack this box 
over this box yes i can and the height of this stacking will be 10 that is 6 plus 4 simple lis thing is what we are doing now okay this is going to be 10 move your j to the next point next index can i stack it no 3 is greater than 2 i cannot stack a bigger height bigger length box uh, then below a smaller length box j moves here can i stack 2 5 over 1 4 yes i can what will be the height in of this configuration so already the stack that i'm creating with this box has a height of 10 if if this height i include this height with into this is it greater the maximum for this configuration yes i think 13 will be a better height so i can include it into my configuration move your j to this index i cannot stack it up okay move your i to the next point repeat the same process 3 1 can i stack 4 3 over 3 1 yes i can stack so what will be the height of this configuration 6 plus 3 9 so it will give you a height of 9 j comes here let's see if i can stack it no 3 and 3 are equal now j is here can i stack it yes i can stack it and the height will be 9 plus 4 13 okay fine move your j here what will be the height in this case cannot stack move here cannot stack cannot stack i goes to the next index can i stack 3 1 uh, can i stack 3 6 over 3 1 i cannot move next to the next 1 3 yes i can stack 3 6 over 1 3 so the height in this case will become 6 plus 1 7 next pointer 3 1 can i do no 1 4 yes i can do and why have i why is this height removed it would have okay for example it is 3 so it will become 10 now and now i'm here can i stack no can i stack yes i can so the height for this one is 13 13 right if i add it to 10 it will become 23 as you can see for this test case we are not already we have exceeded the right answer that is because i have told you that i have written the random configurations for some random boxes so do not expect the right answer but the logic and everything stays same and finally you can see that whatever will be the maximum right now we have this this keeps up adding and finally you can keep a track of max height that's what you have to return okay so i think enough of explanation for this question now let's have a look at the code so what we have taken here is since we want all the different configurations for the boxes that we have if you have n boxes you will have three times n different configurations so what we did here that we have taken an extra class box which will have length width and height so it is as same as i have taken a new array by name of boxes okay this array is for example if i have three boxes it will be of length nine one two three four five six and each each index of this box each index of this box actually represents an object which has length width and height so i can easily access length width and height uh, in all the different configurations via my boxes array right so i can write boxes dot boxes idx dot length or like this right so now what we have done here is that on the basis what we are trying to do you will see we have written using this for loop we will actually come up we will be able to fill this boxes array with all the different three different configurations for each box right and then what we are doing here is as i told you we want in the sorted order of the area so this will give me this boxes array in this order in which i will have let's see what we have done here i will have an increasing order of increasing this will this will be my boxes zeroth index this will be my boxes first index second index so on why because how because that arrays dot sort using comparator will make sure that i get the one with the minimum area at zeroth index then up basically sorted order of areas right three ones three three ones three three four ten ten twelve eighteen twenty right so that's what we are doing in this step and now see the question is done with this for loop now we are creating an lis which will make sure that lis of last index basically or not last index lis will be the array which will be storing the heights maximum heights of the boxes so far that i'm trying to stack up 
and this is the loop that I just explained. So my LIS at every step will be storing what LIS is representing that every at that particular index. If I am at this index and it gives me 14. So this tells me that this box, right, if stacked over no matter how many boxes or what were those boxes, but will fetch you the maximum height of 14. And that has been taken care of that what kind of stack means what kind of boxes were used if we used all boxes or one box or two box doesn't matter but the maximum height that it can give you is 14 that is what lis of i will represent okay and then finally you can iterate over your lis array to find the maximum height and you will return that right that's what we have done here if lis of i is less, greater than rest uh, you update your s and finally return that right so that's pretty much about this question guys if okay let me just see someone has asked something and today only discuss this channel uh, yes ishan i would definitely suggest you can start attending these lectures but since we are almost towards the end of this sd sheet i'll just show you the sd sheet that we have here from which i take questions almost every day i'll just show you so this is the sd sheet that we have and this has got really good questions curated for you all so we start you can follow my lectures i've already created lectures starting from array and we have already covered almost all the questions till here i'll tell you till where so till box stacking now we have covered all the questions so this is dp that we are discussing so if you definitely i would suggest you that you should start doing them and if you are able to complete this sheet as soon as possible obviously by understanding then you will be somewhere good to go with your dsa so I highly recommend you to start. Okay. So that's all for today everyone. Now we will wrap it up. And see you all in the next lecture. Bye bye and take care.